Hi, my name is George Meyer. And I snuck into this illustrious crowd of people who actually do data science and machine learning every day to rage against the MVP mindset and make a case that we should care about beauty and elegance in IT, in data science, and software engineering, really in all of our disciplines. Why? Simple. Have you ever worked on something, you know, try, and you just had to get it out the door? You shipped it, you committed it, and then you felt like you needed to take a shower because you knew it just wasn't right. You already felt sorry for the person who would ever have to look at that code again. That's the problem of the MVP mindset. Inspired by a poem from Dorothy Parker called The Flow in Paganism, I wrote this little poem to illustrate that flaw. Code it fast and pound your query so we can ship it quick and dirty. Then we'll fix it in phase two. But alas, we never do. Because we never have the time, right? We never get around to coming back and making this as beautiful and as elegant a solution as we want. But I think we really need to because minimally viable is a poor standard. It's a low standard. What does it even mean if you think about it? Minimally viable means this is a pile of cells that just can survive in the world. It doesn't die once we deploy it into production, right? That's like saying the code is good because it compiles. It doesn't say anything about being beautiful, elegant, delightful, something that we may ever want to see again that would help us make the world better. A good and typical example, especially in corporate environments and data, is the quick and dirty, ugly solution is we just look at some summary status like the all too often used average, right? Let's say we have a simple case where we have customer ratings, one to five stars, and we look at the average and it's like, oh, we have 2000 customers on average, we got a three star product. Well, that's an answer, but it really doesn't tell us anything. The average is an ugly number to look at. If we looked at the distribution, that's already a lot more elegant because with just a simple picture, it tells us this is a product that really our customers just feel bad about. It doesn't excite anyone, but it also doesn't mean anyone really hates it. Or on the other hand, we could have a much more interesting story, which was we have a highly polarizing product. Half of our customers absolutely love it and half of it hate it with the passion of a thousand burning suns. Also, personally, I would prefer that second product. That seems a lot more interesting. But here we have the distribution as a very elegant tool you know, to give us an answer and to allow us to reason about what's going on. And especially in data science, I think we often suffer from not having the time to make things elegant and making sure we even use the right tool or experiment with different tools until we find the right one. Of course, so I can use a hammer if I have to and drive a screw into a wooden plank. That doesn't make it good. In fact, it's a very ugly solution. Similarly, I can look at a data set that looks like this and like run a linear regression on it. And especially if I forget what the limits of my tools are, Excel is going to let me do that just fine, right? It won't care. It will spit out an answer, but it hasn't enabled us to like get a meaningful insight about the data. And so that's really what I argue for in this talk is we should get away from this minimally viable standard to just say, oh yeah, you know, we got something done. And we got it out the door and maybe we'll fix it later because we know later will never happen to get it fixed. Instead, let's make sure we do beautiful work that we are proud of. And what that will mean is, you know, it will take more time, but we've looked at our tools. We understand what we've done. We're proud of what we've done. We are happy to pass it on to somebody else who can actually look at this example and say, wow, this is really cool. And I'm excited to work on it rather than this is a epic nightmare that I now need to maintain. And I think if we do that, we will create a future that gives us better answers out of our data. It will be more exciting to work with all our things and the world in general will be more delightful. So please join me and make the case that we shouldn't just settle for minimum li viable. We should do work that we are proud of that is elegant and beautiful. Thank you.